that we have created a product and we have created a buy now page in WordPress let's take a look at how to generate a payment button to actually uh, sell the product now uh, go to the DAP admin dashboard payment processing generate buy buttons page select the product that you're looking to sell so in this case I'm going to select the one-time product that we created select the payment processor as stripe and uh, that's it as far as the first step is concerned step number two is to generate a uh, choose a button type we are going to select buy now a simple buy now button credit card or check out with PayPal you can pick different options now let's say we pick allow checkout with credit card only now the credit card checkout is going to happen using stripe if you also want to offer uh, your users uh, pay using a PayPal option on the buy now page then both credit card as well as the checkout with PayPal option will show up on the final checkout page and users can decide how they want to pay so if you want to allow both then pick that option uh, check out with PayPal or check out with both credit card and PayPal one of those options um, landing page will there be one click upsells after this purchase so DAP will allow one click upsells uh, using stripe so if you want to offer one click upsells say yes and set this to the URL of your first upsell page now if there is no upsell now let's set it to no upsell here you can set it to point to your uh, final landing page please note that after a purchase is complete DAP is going to automatically log in the user and so you can redirect the users directly to the downloads page after the purchase is complete so it's up to you where you want to send them you can send them to a generic thank you page um, or you can send them directly to a downloads page or a members area page checkout page in WordPress uh, we'll just uh, set it to point to the buy now page that we created in WordPress using the DAP shopping cart shortcode um, and then make sure that the checkout page uses HTTPS for security because you are going to be collecting credit card information on that page so for security make sure it's HTTPS otherwise it will not work and that's it now you can say uh, generate the button code and uh, it will give you the button code you can take the button code from here um, you can also generate a payment link it doesn't have to be a button if you want to do that then you can just click on generate payment link and it will give you the payment link that you can put anywhere you can even send it in an email now uh, let's take the button code that we got and we can put it on the sales page so say that this is our sales page this is the one-time product that we are trying to sell in the text mode I'm going to enter the button code that I got from DAP and that's it I'm going to say update and uh, now this button uh, is to sell the one-time product we created and it is going to take the users to the buy now page uh, which is a page we created in WordPress and uh, it will allow the users to complete the purchase um, actually stripe will be used for uh, charging the user and uh, that's it now let's take a look at uh, actually test it and uh, check the user experience